Hello everyone, JSGC here again and we're here for another Manchester City transfer update on the day that the Premier League fixtures have been announced. Don't forget, if you just head over to Manchester City's website then you'll be able to see Manchester City's fixtures for the 2019-2020 season. Uh, also, if you check Manchester City's Twitter, possibly the website at some point, probably today, then if you go on your mobile phone, so on iOS, I imagine Android has it too, if you just go uh, click on a link, you'll be able to download Man City's fixtures to your calendar and then if fixtures change, they change automatically, so you'll be able to keep up to date with when Manchester City are playing with every single game, including cup competitions. Just press the link when City do upload it. I will retweet it on my Twitter if you want to go and check that out, and then you'll be able to download the fixtures. But that's for another video for me to talk about. I will be talking about that on the podcast, which will be up on Sunday, talking about all of Man City's fixtures, so you've got that to look forward to. But for today, talking about transfer updates, so we're going to crack on with this video in a moment. Try to say first, though, if you want to leave your thoughts in the comments below with these upcoming transfers make sure you leave a big thumbs up make sure you subscribe if you're new around here and you're enjoying the content press the bell put your push notifications on you can go check out my social media in description below and popping up on screen so we're going to crack on with the ins first like we always do and it's a little bit of an update on a player that was linked with a couple of days ago which is Lucian Agumi I hope that's how you say his name but apparently City and Inter Milan were battling for his signature from show over in France well apparently Inter Milan's beaten Manchester City because he has agreed a deal to join them instead. He is the young player that City wanted to try and send some academy players out on loan to show in the hope of beating Inter Milan to his signature, but it doesn't seem to work because apparently he wants more playing time and he feels like he'll get that in Italy rather than at Manchester City in England. So as far as I'm concerned, that transfer done and dusted he isn't joining Manchester City. So instead, we've got an update on João Cancelo instead, the Juventus uh, fullback, the right back for Juventus. Now there's still not been much movement with regards to this transfer. City will not step up their interest in him until Danilo has been sold. That's uh, if he gets sold, by the way, not when. Juventus's uh, new manager also needs to approve the deal for him to leave. It's expected that their new manager will be sorry. They are trying to come up with an agreement with Chelsea to have him leave the, his role at Chelsea and become the new manager at Juventus. And it's been reported in Italy that Manchester City have an agreement in place with the player. They just need to finalise up the contract and then obviously agree the fee with Juventus. But this is all pendant, uh, pending on Danilo leaving Manchester City. He has to leave first for this transfer to happen. I don't have an update on Danilo. Hello. No new links on him. Juventus are interested, but they've prioritised another right backs. Inter Milan are still interested, but they've not stepped up their interest. And apparently, as of yesterday night, Di Marzio was reporting for Sky Italia that Manchester United are now stepping up their interest and thinking about making a move for Cancelo too, which comes as no surprise. It allows Juventus to be able to up the price with the two Manchester clubs battling for him. And we know that City, if they get involved in a transfer battle, will pull out. Whereas we know that if Manchester United are serious about signing him, then they'll pay him more money than what City will probably be willing to offer. This is so frustrating. What a frustrating summer this has been. I wanted this to be like the 2017 summer transfer window and instead it's going more along the lines of the 2018 summer transfer window. Let's hope we can have a better outcome this time around. Now, new player that City are getting linked with is a player coming from Sao Paulo, so a Brazilian forward called Anthony. That's how it's pronounced in English. I presume it's going to be pronounced something different in Brazil, so it'll be probably Antony or something like that. But he's been linked with an £18 million move to the Etihad, which in turn would then see him loaned out to Sporting Lisbon and if this is true this will be the first case of the new partnership that is apparently now in place I've not heard any confirmation that it's in place things will just start to happen but apparently this could be the first um, move in the partnership which sees Man City have first dibs on Sporting Lisbon's young academy products and in exchange Sporting Lisbon can have some of Manchester City's upcoming potential talent in the academy and be able to loan them obviously then it saves them £18 million City are paying £18 million and we'll get to see how good this Antony is now 19 years old seems like a little bit of a lot of money to be sending for a young unproven player from South America to send him out on loan we paid a lot of money for Gabriel Jesus but he came in and went straight into City's first team squad whereas Antony wouldn't. So it'll be quite interesting. All this was coming from sources in Portugal. It was coming actually from the Daily Record over in Portugal, which the Portugal sources seem to be going the same way as Italian sources as being a little bit... Um, misunderstood we'll say but it's also been reported in brazil a different player this one by the way that manchester city are now out of the race to sign everton suarez we spoke about him a few months ago he came back into the headlines about a week or two ago but apparently city are now no longer in the race to sign him city uh, were keeping an eye on him 
apparently though they're not going to pursue their interest he was uh he's in his 20s so it's not exactly like he's a teenager either so uh the move didn't really make sense but it seems that city aren't going to pursue that but they are still chasing a center back and a defensive midfielder for this summer now we're going to move on to the outs and this is a real interesting uh move so i'd like to know your thoughts on this in the comments below but what do you think man city should do with our own murich now he is a lone target for nottingham forest their manager and goalkeeping coach the head of their goalkeeping uh, coaches by the way was uh, recently at a Kosovo game watching him and apparently Pep wants to loan RO out for next season because he wants him to have first team football and to try and prove himself to see how good he is rather than sitting on Manchester City's bench which makes sense. I know there's interest in Murich from Preston North End and Bristol City previously too. City have got another goalkeeper coming from Columbus Crew in Zach Steffen, who's expected to leave uh, straight away on loan and head to Germany. He's expected to join Dusseldorf, who have flown out to Washington DC to have a, uh, to speak with Zach Steffen and his representatives to try and thrash out a loan deal. And if that's the case that Murich leaves and Steffen leaves too, we're left with just Edison and Bravo. Bravo's just come back from his injury, of course, so we're not too sure where he's at in terms of his recovery from his injury, he might be back in full training and ready to go again, I don't know, but City will need a third uh, choice goalkeeper, and if both Murich leaves and also Stefan leaves, both of them will probably be loan deals, by the way. Then we should see Daniel Grimshaw promoted to the Manchester City squad for the third choice goalkeeper, a homegrown player from Manchester City's academy, of course. So that's where that one seems to be heading. So I'd like to know, would you rather Murich leaves, head out on loan and get first team football? Or would you rather him stay and see if he can battle Bravo and try and become Manchester City's second uh, glove, basically, behind Edison? Very interesting. I'm not too sure what to think of it, if I'm honest. I think if you, as long as he gets guaranteed 46 championship games in the season and he's going to be the number one choice at a championship club, then go for it. He's a very good goalkeeper, R.O. Murich, and uh, it'll be interesting to see what happens there. Now, we've got contract news, and very good news this one. The Standard have been reported. I think the Independent and Guardian might have been reporting this too, but they're reporting Zinchenko now set to sign a new contract with Manchester City. It has been in the pipeline, but it seems things have now finally got sorted, but Zinchenko Zinchenko has announced that he is on holiday, so I'm not sure who's going to fly back, get it signed and fly out again, or whether he's already agreed it beforehand and this has been done weeks and weeks ago, and Man City's just waiting for the right time to announce it and get things agreed. I'm not too sure, but we're just waiting for the official confirmation, basically, that Zinchenko is on a new deal, but he does deserve a new deal, and I hope he does get to enjoy his break too. He's worked very hard this season. I'm looking forward to seeing more of Alexander Zinchenko at Manchester City. Let's hope that this deal does get signed soon, and we've got him tied down for many more years at Manchester City and speaking of contracts and time players down the Sun have been reporting that Manchester City are also looking to extend the contract of Kyle Walker beyond his current deal which expires in 2022 so a couple of contracts in the pipeline but we're still waiting for news with regards to Leroy Sane and also Ilkay Gundogan. I'm more confident, by the way, on the Gundogan deal and getting him signed. He seems to be flirting with the fact of staying at Manchester City and distancing himself from leaving, um, whereas Leroy Sane is a little bit up in the air. But when we do get developments on that, I will, of course, let you know. So there we go. That has been the video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you leave a thumbs up so I know that you did enjoy this video. It really helps me out. Let me know your thoughts of these deals in the comments below. I'm hoping to be able to bring some positive uh, in news over the next couple of days towards the weekend that would be a great way to be able to end the week on it's been quite a slow frustrating week so end it on a high that would be fantastic so make sure you stay tuned for that we're doing daily manchester city transfer updates don't forget so if you're interested make sure you subscribe press the red button and press the bell and put your push notifications on my social media links are in description below if you want to go and check out my twitter and instagram it's also popping up on screen if you want to go and follow me on there that would be much appreciated keep up to date with all things Manchester City, all things Manchester City news and don't forget check out my Twitter because I will retweet when Manchester City make the calendar download available to your phone so you can keep track of all the Manchester City's fixtures as they happen throughout all of next season so I'll see you all again tomorrow for the next video so it's with JSGC, I hope you'll have a wonderful rest of your day peace, ciao for now